It's a good thing I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. as I used to be. I think I'm gonna faint. There better be some way across to that building. Woohoo! Well, this grapple gun is great! That furniture looked tacky anyway. down, uh, the rest to go.
Wow! I didn't even realize I was a gymnast. Number three. That just leaves the leader. He's going to be a bit harder to catch. I can see what appears to be the leader of the gang of robbers stood on one of the rooftops. He seems to be waving at someone. It'll take more than that to stop me, mister. Ah! Why did I have to open my big yap? Wait! I've just seen a member of the LEGO City PD swing into the fray! It looks like this pursuit will end in an arrest. This is Conrad Peters on the scene for Channel K News. Come on, give up already! for a car thief. Yeah, well, I pick things up. Not anymore, you don't. George? George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey, long time no see, Dave.
to be chasing young whippersnappers about. Need a hand? I couldn't hurt. Think you're up to getting all those fellers back in their cells? All in a day's work. Can help you, officer. Yeah, I need to check a prisoner's cell for something. He's called Blue. <laughs> Blue? He's been here almost as long as me. Always sees I get some of that cake his mom bakes him. It kind of tastes funny. There you go. I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have at least four a day. I am really regretting my life choices about now. <gasps> You get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. Now, once you've got the equipment, you need to get into the warden's office. What? It's the only way to Rex's cell. Wait. Shh. Yep, that's Blue. He's the one that talks to pastries. Cuckoo. Okay. Now go. The door's at the right side of the third story. And you better hope the warden's not in there. I'm gonna get you back for this, policeman. It's a good thing these bars are between you and me. You can't keep me in here. Not on a sunny day. You can't keep me in here forever. Oh, come on. I miss my stories on the TV! Let me out of here! I'm innocent! Come on, give a guy a second chance! My lawyer will hear about this! I should have stayed in school. I ain't a bad person, really. Come on, I'll prove it. Just let me out of here a second. It's better than solitary. Chase, this is really important. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Trying to find out how Rex escaped? Oh, sorry. But yeah, yeah, I think she does. Sweet!
Chase, you in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not gonna let you snoop around for it. Gotcha. You won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? Is someone out there? No, I told you. I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No. Of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records. They're alphabetized. You better not be messing with my records, especially not the opera ones. What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody! Open this door! Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. Thank you. 
This must be Rex's cell. Hey guys, does Rex know you're using his hot tub? You're gonna regret the day you met me! A punch bag and weightlifting equipment? So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me, after the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. Well, what'd you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says hi. That's right. It's not just police beats that I'm good at. That's interesting. A hidden button. Aha, another hidden button. Whoa, I'm glad I wasn't sat on that. Here's the last button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on. Didn't I say this already? A jukebox in a jail cell? I guess that means it's full of criminal records. Whoa! Ah! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell. But the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, uh, there was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie! I'm looking for Clarence Stinky Fletcher. Other end of the main cavern. Whew, you can't miss him. I'll tell you, I sure won't when he retires. Hoo-hoo-wee! There he is! Blow the charges! <gasps> With the detonator! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Which one of you lot did that? For the last time, will people stop playing with dynamite? Oh, and you! Get some safety gear on! Uh, aye, aye, sir! Pete should have been more careful in that unstable tunnel. If he'd just been a sharp miner, then he wouldn't be a plant. Oh, come on! They haven't finished building the track! I can't move my car to dynamite! all your time watching out for fallen stalactites and then bam a fallen boot lands on your head. You ever find out why those guys who broke in here and took the equipment? No idea. Maybe they're starting their own. Oh dang damn it! My first day in the job and I managed to jam this big I'm gonna make my quota this month. I'm gonna spend my bonus on going to one of those hell spas. That build at Blackwall was playing it looked really nice. I doubt I could have afforded an apartment in it though. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Not on our wages.
good. A welcoming party. Landing. Hey, you do know there's an elevator, right? No. Friendly faces. Check the foreman is watching first. I can't believe I have to work a double shift now. Just messing with me when he said this part of the mine was haunted. Yeah. Huh. What just touched me? Light fuse and stand well back. <laughs>
been all day breaking rocks and lugging boulders about. When I get home, I should be allowed to put my feet up. Oh, come on. We were supposed to get a new cable car last week. Hey, good work, man. Not that I'm going to get in it. Those things ain't safe. No, sirree. You have a good trip, though. I'm sure you'll be fine. Watch this. Yeah! This isn't going to end well, is it? Oh. Oh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> that ought to stop him. Legs, check. Arms, check. Head, check. What do you know? I'm still alive! More bad guys. I must be getting close to Stinky. Here's an idea, Chase. Maybe don't fall in that terrifying grinder machine? There isn't a giant ape at the top of this thing. recorder. Maybe there's a clue on it. Fletcher's Log 3011. I've been... Eh? Who's that? Get him! Yeah! I'll hide his recorder, boss. They've got Stinky, but I might still be able to catch up with them. Long time no see, Kane. Rex Fury! Looking for someone? What's that? Wow. Leave him. There's nothing he can do. 
My guy says he's found someone to steal us a nice new truck. Courtesy of the Lego City PD. Oh, turn hey! that noise ah! off! Ah! Ow! Oh. Did an ice cream truck hit me? It looks that way, but no. You got beat up, Chase. Good thing Dunby sent me up here. Duke. Ow. I was looking for a miner, but... Rex got to him first. Try not to speak. Natalia, you came here for me? <laughs> no. He'll be fine. Then why? I was in the area. Her daddy's gone missing. What? Don't worry, Natalia. I'll find him. I'll find him without you. I never should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex has got her daddy and you're planning on rescuing him, then you're going to need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. He knows Kung Fu. Barry Smith, 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru, unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of a day. I've probably got enough bricks to use that super build now. Slowly does it. Of the martial arts are way easier than the regular ones. When I get out of here, Why would keep I'm going to complain outside. to the manufacturers of these torches. They last like 10 seconds.
Another hat stand? <laughs> and yet, no one is wearing a hat. Slowly does it. So, were all the hats stolen? Oh, wait! These are wooden practice dummies for karate! <laughs> Hat stands, you idiot chase. Whew, close. That torch only just burned long enough for me to get here. I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service.
peace and inner harmony. So tell me what it's like in case there's a test. The test is your journey through life and the ripples that huh? spread from your actions. A gong. That's even better than a bell. I'll just put down the I'm here to see Be- Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? you off against a few of my students. <sighs> Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Let's see what you can do, Chase. That's more like it. Not bad. Let's try up in the arts. Oh, mate. Come on. You made light work of that, Chase. You might not be so lucky this time. Empty your mind as you would a radiator before replacing it. Ooh, he's gonna be walking funny tomorrow. All right. Ooh, that has got to sting. Come on. Ouch. I hope you're good at arm wrestling. Your movements must flow like water through the copper pipes of your intense. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Try throwing them into each other. Ouch! Oh well, you knew the risks well joined the dojo. <laughs> Ouch! Even I felt bad. Remember, a journey of 10,000 miles starts with a single uh, phone call to the trampage. You'll find the guys dressed in brown a bit tougher. If a tree falls in a forest and lands on you, does it hurt? Yes, a lot. It really, really hurts a lot. Just one more round to go, Chase. Oh, that's good. Oh, bruv. You're ruthless. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello.
going to have to shower for a week after this. Hey, Chase, you in the bank? I'm in a sewer. Wow, did you take a wrong turn? <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been reading the instructions for the color gun. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna need to fill it from a color swapper. That sounds like an unusual thing to find in the sewer. I agree. I just have this weird feeling there'll be one down there. the Lego City PD gets discounts from a dry cleaner. I really don't want to know how this key ended up in a sewer. But I do want to know how come it fits this lock. Yeah. <sighs> Why couldn't I learn to swim backstroke? What a significant looking red panel that is. Ooh, it smells like these pipes are used to carry sprouts. I guess that's a color swapper then. The gun's got some kind of green stuff in it now. Great! Now, if you see any electrical panels which are glowing red, you can shoot them with that thing to turn them on. Ooh, I saw one back there over a gate. You know, I've always wanted to see this bell pepper emerald. They say it's as big as your head. Used to belong to some royal dame, but she sold it, cause wearing it as a brooch gave her back trouble. I'll be in touch. Chase, I just read some more. Keep a lookout for a red color swapper. Right, red color swapper. Whoa, this emerald. It's meant to be the most flawless one in the world. Not like those useless lumps of crystal they get out of the bluebell mine. I mean, they're valuable, but uh, this thing, whoa. Tries flushing an air mattress down the toilet.
That's a yellow color swapper, not red. I hope there's a red one somewhere else. On that color swapper. Once you fill the color gum with red, you can use it to turn off electrical stuff by shooting any green electrical panels. You know, this is actually kind of like the old days when I used to rob banks myself. Except that uh, I ain't the one who's risking his neck this time. I'll read up some more. I can almost taste that big old gemstone. The bell pepper emerald is gonna make me a fortune! You know someone that can handle the sale? No need. We're stealing it to order. I've been doing some work for a private buyer, and he wants it real bad. So don't mess up. The last guy who messed up? Oh, man. That was a real shame. What happened? I couldn't justify employing him anymore. So he's sleeping with the fishes now. What? Yeah, he's a night watchman at the aquarium. I'll be in touch. Better find the emerald and get out of here before someone catches me. Hey, Chase, I got to the really good part of the manual. You can use the color gun to turn things silver. That kind of defeats the point of me robbing a bank, doesn't it? It's not real silver, but it's close enough to make stuff all shiny and reflective. Useful if there are laser beams around. Capish? Yeah, that might be handy in this place. Great. Just fill it with silver color if you see a swapper, and keep a lookout for the bell pepper emerald. Call me when you get out of the vault. Well, the emerald wasn't in there. Not in there either. Oh, come on. 
It's almost like they don't want anyone to take the emerald. Is a jewel. Whoever's in here, you are breaking the law. I think they probably already know that, Phil. I guess I'm not getting out of here undetected then. seems fair I do something nice for the bank too. The statue looks a lot more colorful in that painting.
Hmm. Do I have enough bricks for that super build? I think I might. Number. Maybe it's part of a combination. Jet-powered snowplow! Hey! I was about to rob this place! Sorry! I meant to have this place on Tuesdays, but the people listen to me? No! And they call this organized crime! Sheesh, that is one small step, Foreman. Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Ellie, Chen wants me to take a moon buggy. Wow. Yeah. But I can't get to it because it's in the shuttle surrounded by mechanics, and I'm in the control room. Maybe you can do something to get their attention. That's the last thing I want, isn't it? No, because then they'll have to come to the control room, meaning you can sneak into the hangar. Okay. I'll just try pressing some buttons then. What's the worst that can happen? I guess flying a rocket is basically the same as being in a rodeo.
<laughs> Having your atoms scrambled by a teleport kind of tickles. Looks like this track's got a hole in it. Sheesh! Glad my watch doesn't take a battery this size. Now to find some way of getting all those workers out of the hangar. get their attention. I hope that vent up there leads to the hangar. Power levels have dropped off the scale. All engineering staff return to the control. Ooh, I wonder if my driving license covers space rockets. Ellie, how do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press to open its delivery bay. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. 
There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay, anything else I should know? The annual rainfall in Lego City? Thanks, Ellie. Did they get this thing out of a disco? <laughs> that was kind of like hopscotch. Uh, not that I've ever played that. Laser 1, connected. Laser 2, connected. Limited shuttle systems, activated.
Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock! Where's my backup? I'm meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky. Thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. The softly, softly approach is out of the question. You ready, Studsky? I was born ready. Ready for what? We've got to get to Natalia as fast as possible. Chan could be doing anything to get information out of her. Like giving her ice cream? What? He's not going to try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I'd tell you anything if you threaten me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Blech. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't hurt the public. 
My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, oh I thought of another one. They could. All right. That really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. A couple more cans of fuel, and I can start that generator. It's a fuel can in a washing machine. No wonder it's in a scrapyard. Look at me, I'm on a roll. I need to get that gate open. How much fridge space do you need? Here, doggy doggy. That super build. Those things are awesome. Oh, 
Oh man, that model was a classic. Now that is what I call a compact car. Ooh, I can use it to get up onto that pile of junk. Remember, scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> That's a subtle arrow. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? Duh, yeah, to my twin sister. Not bad. I'm normally afraid of changing my car's oil. Teleporter built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> oh, good. More bad guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. Just hang on. Oh, sorry. Poor choice of words.
I'll have you down in a minute. About time? Oh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I just need to find the button to lower you gently. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't it. He made me eat ice cream. Hold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Starting from now? Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? A lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only oh, extinct can't thing around got here. Ran over in a museum.
The dinosaur I've probably got enough bricks Great. to use that super build the T -Rex now. T-Rex is bound to be in there. That certainly isn't a T-Rex. I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here.
Hey, I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. is impenetrable. Can I smell burning? I just reinvented the wheel. Mummy's tomb isn't cursed. This Sphinx is an exact copy of the one found near the pyramids, except with some of the missing details restored. When we asked museum visitors to vote on whether ours was better than the original, it won by a nose.
Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. Well, don't you look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look, a raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if that's great! Well done! You will be an asset to us, as there have been an un- Well done! Wait a minute! That door is shut! <gasps> oh, and an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it! Oh, and look here! A fight! Here's Petey! <laughs> oh! Well, aren't you big and strong? Good! Oh, great heavens! Look! One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, do you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. Ooh! All right! You lasted ages! That's gotta be a wreck! Uh, muy bien! You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates!
Oh, no! Look! Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends! Go right! Get ready! Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent catch! Right a bit? Good work! Hey! hey. Got him! Left! Wait there! Uh, hey! Watch out! Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! Nicely done! Left a bit! Stop! Geronimo! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these. Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends! Hop on to one of them! Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? And there you go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Build a ladder! I hope my training's almost finished. I've still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap! Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes! Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck. from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator.
saved him! Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. <sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake and blew out the candle before him, and opened some of his presents, and congratulated him on his 50th birthday when he's only 40, and got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one, and got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal if you like. Nah. Time to find this boat and sail it away.
Hey, Chase, over here. Over here, Chase. How did you guys get in here? Oh, uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Ah, uh, I like him. Boss said you should get on the water cannon. Chase? I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh, yeah. What was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops it. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the park to uptown. That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh yeah, he didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. I'll wait here and keep the engine running. Get up there, get the stuff, and get back down. Okay. It's weirdly quiet around here. Maybe Blackwell security guys are on holiday. Maybe not.
Don't take anything too valuable. Just find something shiny that Vinny will like. If I was a secretive billionaire, where would I hide my vault? Oh, right. See? Now that's a sensible place to hide a vault. Some guys came out of nowhere and are after me. I'm trying to lead them away from you. Hurry up! Okay, I'll grab the stuff and get out of here. How does chopsticks go again?
only one. Open sesame! Or just open, if you have a nut allergy. Whoa, that looks like a lot of money. No wonder Vinny's had his eye on this place. Who are you? Uh... <coughs> Intruder escaping! Sentinels pursuing! going on in there. Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. to break the latch off to get Vinny out. <laughs> this fuse box should fix something. You've destroyed it! What will I play now? Uh, video games? I know an awesome one about a handsome undercover cop I can recommend. Someone get this off of me! Sheesh, Finny. I know Rex has turned on you, but there's no need to go to pee. <gasps> Thanks! 
The leader locked himself in the ice cream factory. You can get in through a secret passage in my office. Whew. I want to know why they did this. What? One of those worms has drawn a mustache on my mother's painting. How could they do that? Do you know how much I had to pay the artist to leave her mustache off in the first place? She'll go crazy if she sees this. Why am I standing up? <laughs> and why is it my nightlight on? really likes ice cream.
That is a pretty unconventional way of locking a door. <laughs> How did you get in here? Ah, eh, what does it matter? You can't hurt us! If you're after an ice cream, this place is closed for business. Permanently! I can still see you in that box, you know. Hey, that's cheating! You two, stop him! Don't just stand there, stop him! around down there. All right, now you're beginning to get on my nerves. What are you up to? This is your last chance. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, that's right. I've been being nice up till now. What's he doing? I can't see him. <laughs> Sorry about the frosty reception, mister. Stop pressing buttons and turning valves. guys do anything right? What the... Uh, ow! That hurt. Oh! Hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or... Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Uh, oh, yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But uh, I know how you can get to him. Uh, I meant to do some kind of job tonight, in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answers. Yeah, no, no! Whoa! Is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. 
Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? No, Not me. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main. Not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, oh, it's okay. I'll find another one. Hey, you'll need to move that barrel. Push it over by that cone and stuff. I gotta figure out who my contact is in this place. Hurry, and get through the door. Don't you have a crowbar? Listen, fix that fuse box. I don't need any more collateral damage. That you, Jimmy? I got a message from Rex. He wants you to get a crane from this place. Gotta go! Well, that was to the point. Don't worry about smashing the crate. It's expendable. My back is hurting from carrying around bricks all day. Have you been lifting from the knees? No, from the construction site. It's repairing. Did you not hear it jingle all the way? That steamroller was fun, but have you got something a bit bigger I can drive? Like a, ooh, crane? <laughs> Trust you with a crane? <laughs> Thanks. Show me that you're a real construction worker. Fix the hoist controls over there.
Have you found those parts yet? Find the parts! The foreman reminds me of someone. Isn't anyone else doing any work here? Oh, I'm sorry if this seems like a raw deal. Oh, who built that wall there? Idiots! Use explosives to get rid of it! Come on! Come on! Don't you understand a simple command? Oh? No reply? Good! Stop walking, man! Stop running, man! Explosives are in the storeroom! Elevator won't work. Fix the fuse box above it. Glad I remembered my hard hat today. I can still feel where that brick landed on me. How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police. Don't you know how to use an elevator? Put the fire out! Wait a second. Why is the building even on fire? Which stupid set the building on fire? How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police force for not liking donuts. That was still computer. Huh? Shut off the gas valve! Use your strength! Come on! There's gotta be a spare around here. Something I can help with? Doubt it. I dropped the key to the gate shed and the guard dog ran off with it. Can't you just take the key back off of it? Oh yeah, sure. Oh no, wait! I actually want to keep both my hands. Getting this crane better lead me straight to Rex. You got the key! You just saved my neck, buddy. Go on! Use it to get into the gatehouse! Oh, there you are. What? How did you? I'm not Albert. I'm Werner, his twin. Oh, huh. I thought you'd look different. So, you want to drive a crane, eh? Yes. Then you better build it first. Ah. Oh. Come on, build it.
I've probably got enough bricks to use that super build now. You think you can drive a crane? Get the crane over to that building! Hurry! the crane to pick up the pipes. Hey, put it in the right train now. Do the other ones. Are you going somewhere? Don't worry. I'll be back. I hope you don't mind if the crane isn't here when you return, because I'm going to use it to pick up Rex with the very long arm of the law. Huh, that one wasn't too bad. You got the crane, Jimmy. Great. Rex will be real happy. Yeah. Let's go drive this to wherever Rex is. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Jimmy. We're using the crane to get something else. I'll open the gate so you can get it out of here. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. 
No. Yeah. Oh. Good. Meet me up there in ten minutes. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. All the days to leave my glasses at home. No. Oh. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. <laughs> um... A boss! <laughs> Your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? <laughs> Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving! Uh oh I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere! Find him! <sighs> that was close. <laughs> I hate you, elevator. Come on, try your best. This must be what my horoscope meant when it said I'd be arrested by a tall, dark stranger.
better not be any massive fan blades this time. Oh good, no fan blades, just laser cannons. Followed by rotating energy beam things. I bet this shaft just ends in a giant furnace. Well, that must be how they sneak most of the equipment in. Let's give this thing an upgrade. Right. Just pretend it's one of those claw machines from the fun fair. What's going on? Uh oh. Hey! That should stop them sneaking any more equipment in. And I can use this engine to get through the reinforced door over there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Coming through!
Whoa, all that from one tiny bundle of dynamite. <laughs> cool. What's behind this door? Professor Kowalski, 
please, be reasonable. Forest Blackwell! Forest Blackwell?! You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this society. The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor, I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia! I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah. Ah. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor Poe. Pupa. Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia, what have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? Right. I've got to get up to the professor. A flying saucer? It's me, Professor. Chase McCain. You're not a professor. You're a police officer. No, that's my... Never mind. I'm here to rescue you. Ah, wonderful. Press the button on the control panel behind me. Thank you. Goodness me, Chase McCain. The last time I saw you, you were completely ruining my daughter's life. Uh, thank you? Ah. You did her a favor. Secretly, she's much happier being a paramedic than a reporter. But now, we must rescue her from the forest Blackwell's clutches. Yeah. I can't believe Blackwell's a bad guy. He seems so nice. 
he is a villain. I see you've already arranged our transport. I will disengage the docking clamps. <laughs> We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh... Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that. Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. I hope all the security means Natalia's nearby. Silver statue and a giant letter B. Subtle and classy, Blackwell. Whoa, it's like he paid Frank to do his wiring. The playground? That's just weird. What's weirder is I really want to play on that slide.
Did you find Natalia? No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius. This is his plan. Look, this is my phase polarity F, my magic bubble. He means to fly to the moon. How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within ten blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, we do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any lighter. I bet it's because of those cookies I ate in the rocket.
Lego City selected as destination. Disengaging shield. Launching in five, four, three. I hope you're strapped in safely. One. What have you done? Take a guess, Blackwell. We're going home. No! I will not return to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell, but you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around. Sorry. <laughs> we're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell, threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you. Get squashed! Hey there, McCain! Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum! <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close! Be careful! We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base! No, you do, do ya? Just sit there like a lemon, Rex. Get him! Useless, Rex. This way, Kowalski. Where you going, Blackwell?
You're okay. Yeah, but you're about to be not okay. Are you mad? We're plummeting to our doom. Ladies before gentlemen, get him, boys. Hey, quit throwing people at me. It has come to my attention that regrettably you pair are still in one piece. Although, I'm happy to report that I don't think that will be the case for long. Stop it! Oh, but don't worry. Everyone important is safe in the command module with me, along with billions of studs worth of gold. So really, this is just a setback, a minor inconvenience. You see, once the command module is safely back on the ground, I will begin anew. I will gather my resources and rebuild my empire somewhere else. And then I will destroy. But this isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Ah! Phew. Chase! Natalia, are you all right? Where are you? What? Hurry up! The other person has been disconnected and will crash into the ground in three minutes. Please hang up and dial again. Natalia! Okay. What is it? 
The brakes! Uh-oh. Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? Oh, oh, there they are! Congratulations! You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I bet. Rex! <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Yeah. Ah, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> Sentinel, out! <laughs> 